let me give you some advice of what not to do if you don't want your lace to not stick and leave a mess of glue behind on your face. I'm sharing my struggles in trying to make the best of a terrible install. I'll take you through my new method in laying baby hair, parting, styling, doing my fishtail braids to the finished product. First piece of advice though, don't be dumb. Be wise, learn from my mistakes. In no way, shape, or form did this hair company West Kiss have anything to do with me messing up my hair. The knots on this wig bleached stunningly, which is something I can't say often about these hair companies. The hairline wasn't too thick, so it was easy to plug. I had a ball plugging this wig, actually. That's why you can see the hairline. Hairline is so hard. Go watch my plugging tutorials, by the way. But girl, let me get to the horror comedy. I did not clean my skin off with alcohol or with hazel before laying down my ball cap. I have this thing in life where I feel like rules don't apply to me and you're going to see how that way of life beat me in the ass in a second. I outlined the ball cap following the general outline of my natural hairline which by the way I'm noticing looks like I got a tape like a boy. Ew. I let that thin layer of glue dry down clear before I moved on and this is when I made my second mistake. Girl, this is not my color and I knew it. It's giving spooky season orange. But after I applied the makeup, I cut off the excess cap with a razor. I usually use a scissor but I just wanted to see what it was like to use a razor. And I don't mind using a razor. I feel like it does get as close as possible. This is usually the part where I clean off my skin again with alcohol just in case I got some makeup on it but no. I went directly in with the glue. I already didn't clean my skin before I did my ball cap. This was my time for redemption, but instead I chose to fold. I recently uploaded a video on glue and wig placement for a more natural install. So if you're interested in creating more natural hairlines with your wigs, go watch that. I'll link it up here. But back to me being slow. I didn't even give the glue a chance to dry before I applied my second layer right on top of the layer I just laid down. I have said that glue doesn't need to dry perfectly clear before applying your second, third, fourth layers because I tried it before and I didn't have the issue. But I don't think layering glue on top of each other without even giving it a second to breathe is going to help your cause at this point let the session dry 80 to 100 percent clear before you put on your second fourth and so on layers because no way <laughs> girl you think you cute now she has no idea what's to come but while i waited for the glue to dry clear i took more of this makeup that's not my color and applied way too much to the bottom of the lace unless the lace is transparent i usually don't apply any makeup to it until i have the wig glue on to my skin because most times hd lace does not need a lot of makeup to blend at all and you can just add a little wherever the lace looks ashy at after the fact but this time I must have been off of being i don't know you can see my cap rolling up because I was pulling the lace forward and I don't think that was an issue because I easily stuck my hand through the bottom of the wig and pulled it down at some point. But as I'm trying to lay this wig down, it's just not sticking. It has to be my negligence and not cleaning my skin with alcohol. There's no way it's going to stick properly if you don't do that. It's not the lace glue. I love this glue. I usually do one layer of glue on myself when I'm going out. And for this video, I did two. So it's not that. It wasn't enough glue either. But as I'm trying trying to lay this wig it's literally slipping back ever so clearly we can see that the right side of my lace is not pulled up as forward as the left side near the temple area which means that the hairline is not lined up to where I put the cap or the glue I tied down the wig anyways in this position and blow dried it big mistake because when I took the band off I noticed that I had glued down empty lace to my skin instead of where the hair started and you'll see the mess that that created soon but I cut off the excess lace and I feel like I prefer scissors over a razor when it comes to cutting lace as you can see neither side of the lace was laying down both of them was just coming up girl i was distraught i thought this wig was gonna be fire i plucked that hairline so good only for you to be lifted on me like this i tried to salvage this by creating like a little widow's peak by cutting off lace um off of either side of the middle part so that it looks like the middle part is coming out more than the sides but why did you do that? Because there is glue underneath the pieces of lace that you just cut out. So now your skin's sticky. Girl, 
I had to apply more glue, one more layer of glue underneath the sides that were not laying down. I tried to pull them up as far as I could. I sprayed the hairline we got to be. I tied it down and I let it blow dry for another 10 minutes. When I took it off, it still was not giving what it was supposed to give. Like I have lace glue all over my skin. It's sticky. The lace was still sliding back after I added more glue. Right now the lace is stuck to the ball cap. It's not sticking to my skin. Which is why I look like Mega Mine. Go ahead and get the washcloth, girl, and scrape off all that glue or alcohol from off your skin, which is what I did off of camera. And now this is what it looks like, and it's still not giving. So I took some more got to be spray and I sprayed it on the hairline again. I could not use that side of the um, elastic band because all the glue that's supposed to be under this wig ended up on the elastic band instead. So I tied it down again. And when I took it off, needless to say i still look a mess now because the wig would not stick to my skin it's sticking to the cap so now it's like the edges of the cap sticking out of the lace i had to cut off as much of the cap as i could get as close to the wig as i could and then i put some mousse on that hairline i tied it down again and blow dried it again i was fearful to take the band off too soon just because I, I didn't want to face the destruction that was going to be laying there before me so instead i decided to kill some time talk on the phone as if a moment of crisis is the time to be talking on the phone and I flat ironed my hair instead just to give it some more time to kind of like do a little one two up underneath this elastic band. I took the band off and I feel like at this moment I accepted my defeat. This was the best I was going to get it. So I went along the hairline and cut off anything that was gummy. Doing my best to get as close to the lace as possible. Oh my god. I don't like to make my forehead small with wigs. But gee whiz. I at least like to take off one centimeter. But my forehead said not today. She want to be seen so bad. I could have always took this wig off and started over. But I figured that there's so many people going through this with their own installs. And maybe now y'all would know why okay so after doing my best to cut and clean all the exposed cap and glue along the hairline this is what i'm left with i know it's not my best work but at least it's on a win is a win i can work around this now on the left side there's too much lace and not enough hair on the perimeters of the wig near the sideburn but that's why it's important to pull the wig forward making sure it passes where you put the glue or is at least aligned with the glue but anyway i'm gonna do some baby hair and i'm not gonna part out the baby hair in a straight line but i'm parting this hair out as if I'm right in the C. I'm curving the comb. To keep the rest of the hair back and the baby hair forward, I'm hot combing them. I love hot combing. Next, I part out my sideburns and I do the same thing to the other side. To try to keep them symmetrical, I try my best to mirror what I did on the other side. My baby hair already gonna be big, but by how much hair I parted out, you can see it's gonna be big, but I don't want them that thick. So I'm tweezing a little hair out and I'm comparing both sides as I go to make sure that they're somewhat the same, even if they're not perfect. it's been easier to swoop baby hair once I start curling them. Some people are strict about curling up or down. I curl down because that's what I'm used to doing and it works just fine for me. I have a video about only baby hair if you want more details about how to get them to lay and I use different products in that video than what I'm going to be using in this one. So I like watching different videos and using different products and eventually coming up with my own little routine so if that's something that you're interested in I'll link that video up here but I think the got to be with the mousse which is what I'm using in this video is the method that I'm gonna keep like um sticking to this way the baby hair stays molded and in place but it's still soft and movable and I love that I feel like the very front of the baby hair was too long so I combed them forward and I took a razor to it to cut it shorter but I still kept the back of the baby hair longer to be able to swoop them into the rest of the hair that's going back then I reapplied more mousse and I shaped them back into place and I repeated this process all around my hairline
After I finished the baby hair, I tied the front back down, but with the stocking cap that I cut this time, this material is softer but still effective in helping everything lay down. I don't want to have to peel this stocking cap off and start seeing the baby hair or more glue start pulling off with it, so I just wanted to use something soft. Then I sprayed my hairline with this like shining glossy spray and I hot combed it. It helps the hair lay flat and still keep a nice shine. Once I hot comb it, the hairline looks really neat and I like that. Next, I use a spritz in the same areas and I hot comb it. This helps keep the hairline in place, but it won't be crunchy or turn white or flaky if I start combing through it. To do my zigzag part, I started off by parting it in the center straight down the middle of the widow's peak and then I started going in like a zigzag pattern all the way till I got to the back of the lace. To make the top flat, since it's very poofy right now and I could barely even see the part because the hair is just so puffy, I added wax down both sides of the part and I hot combed it down until I could see the part well enough to add makeup to the part to get rid of that like oompa loompa orange and make it like look cleaner and neater. Just as I use the wax stick to help get the top flat, I'm using my spritz too. I have two videos all about getting the top of your wigs flat. One on a closure and one on a front suit. And I used different methods and products so you should watch both so we all can stop looking like our wigs are wearing hats I decided to do pigtails like this girl I seen on TikTok. so I part out the hair I want in my ponytails and I'm parting out a little hair in the back of my front one to cover up the tracks in the back of the wig I can certainly throw this hair in a ponytail as is but I want this super neat that's the least I could do because I already done messed up with the foundation paying attention to small details makes the biggest difference for me so I'm gonna use Ritz and my hot comb to mold the ponytail in the direction I wanted to go in before I tie it with the rubber band. To help the hair lay down in the back, I use spritz and my hot comb. Now I need to repeat the same steps to this side. To cover up the rubber bands, I took a little piece of hair from out the bottom of the ponytail. I sprayed it with got to be down this piece and I wrapped it around the rubber bands until I got to the very ends. Okay, so boom, I braided my fishtail braid. I wrapped a rubber band around the ends to keep it from unraveling, and I pulled the braid apart to create a more messy look. Reaching the end of this video, leave in the comments and let me know if you was watching this video and was like, okay, no girl, you need to take that off because I really was contemplating it, but I felt like, no, I'm gonna do my best to fix it because I'm sure other people go through this all the time. I used to have problems having my lace lay down all the time. So this was a very humbling experience to like mess up my own hair. So let me know in the comments what you think if you learned anything in this video. Even though I'm not a teacher, I just like to share my art and creativity with the world. Fishtails are trending right now. We've seen it on every possible hairstyle, but this is a girl who inspired this specific hairstyle for me. Thank you guys for watching this video and sticking through it because I know I was looking like a mess through a majority of the video, but I feel like at the end, I did the best that I could do. I did my best, so yeah anyway see you next week bye